Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today the Royal Australian Mint released their annual report. So we'll take a look and see um, what mintages um, have updated and what the current mintages are for um, the coins released this year. So yeah, we'll quickly take a look. Um, we'll scroll down to here. So these are for the circulating coin production. Um, as you can see, there's been a lot of updates on the 2022s. Uh, the 2021 10 cent got an update 5 million and yeah the 50 cent um, 2022 720,000 uh, the interesting one was the 2022 one dollar coin so now we know that there's 6.15 million um, released so that's up from uh, 0.01 from last year's annual report so we thought that that would increase um, this year um, I wasn't expecting it to increase that much but it did so yeah so the actual interesting one was that um, we didn't get an update on the 2021 one dollar coin the standard mob we only got an update on the donation dollar so that's 7.95 million so still no update. So um, on last year's annual report, we got um, 0 0.024. So that's uh, 24,000. And then, of course, we've got on here 0 0.16. So that's uh, 160,000. Now, the interesting thing is, will this stay uh, 160,000? Uh, we've seen it before in previous annual reports that it can change. It can take two, three years for coins to be updated. So this will be a very interesting one to watch. If this stays low, but below 500,000, then we could we could see a big increase in the um, uh, price of the 2021 $1 coin and also the mint set. So that's why I was I put that video out several days ago about the 2021 mint set. Um, yes, it's a gamble, I'll, and I'm speculating on what I think. Um, so we could actually see a spike in the next day or two once people start um, finding out that there was no update. Um, it'll be interesting to see what that mintage would be on that on that coin. Um, so yeah. So we'll just go through some others. Uh, we'll scroll down a bit. There was um, some others that uh, were interesting to see. So we got more added to the 2022. Um, so another 8,000 for the mint set. Um, so the interesting ones that I saw were the... Um, so I'll leave a link anyway in the description below so you can check out the um, annual report yourself. So, so yep, yeah, we got confirmation that the envelope privy for the um, Year of the Rabbit um, PNC it is 888. Um, so where are we here? So the Vegemite proof set, the baby um, set. Just keep scrolling down. Um, it was actually the um, 2023. Um, so we got the Vietnam War two dollar coin. So we knew that that was going to be minted out, and as well as the silver proof, the Opera House. So the Aussie big things. We got three hundred twenty thousand. Not sure if that's going to increase anymore. They are unlimited mintage, so they could for next year. It's the actual AFL, L, uh, the actual AFL coins that um, are interesting. So it looks, I don't know why, looks like each club has a different mintage figure. Um, so Collingwood has 28,000. Essendon is in the 20s. Carlton, uh, Geelong's in the 20s. So that that's one interesting thing to look at. The um, FIFA World Cup. So 
it looks like the AFL and AFLW um, cups, it looks like they're at 1.5 million each. Well, they were released in the circulation, so yeah, that, that's about right. Hawthorne, yeah, the interesting one was this Richmond one. So they got 33,000 minted. Um, I'm not sure if that's because of the PNCs. Um, it could be. I know St Kilda, you know, that's what's interesting because St Kilda had a, um, I think it was 150th anniversary of the, the club. PNC, but that's only at 18,000, so I'm not sure um, why some of these are a lot higher than others. But then I did see the 20 coin collection is at 160,000, so yeah, it's hard to work out what the actual mintages would be on these coins. So we'll just have to wait and see. Um, the, inter the other ones were the uh, Matildas. So there's a big, th big Aussie big things PNC six and a half thousand, which we know. Yeah, there was the AFL um, PNC, so they were the limited run a thousand, but you had to buy all, all the all the clubs together. Uh, where are we here? I did see. So here we go. Here, so we got the Matildas, so the $1 coins and the $2 coins, the Vegemite coins are at 1 million, but then it says unlimited, so I'm not sure, they, they could still increase, but we've got 1 million at the moment, and the same for the Matildas at 1 million, so they are interesting to see if they will increase next year, um, if not, that's a pretty low mintage for a coloured $2 coin, they might be worth speculating on, um, of course, that's always a risk, so take that as you may, and yeah, that, that's the end of that, so yeah, let me know in the comments below, um, I'm still, yeah, the, the 2021 is an interesting one, um, this could potentially be the lowest minted $1 coin mob of ruse that we've ever seen, um, especially if it stays, um, at that 160,000. Um, the only other low mintage $1 coin that I know, Mob of Ruse, was the 2007. It wasn't released in circulation, but it was released in the PNC. And I think it was released in the um, in the mint set, and that was only at 105,000. Um, so yeah, this could potentially be the second lowest um, uh, mob of Ruse. I don't count the 1992 because, yeah, that's all speculation. We don't know if there's actually any coins. So, yeah. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Um, I've said it in many videos. It looks like not many people are actually finding the 2021 $1 coin. Um, several people have reached out to me and said that they've gone through thousands of dollars worth of $1 coins and they haven't found any. I've only got the two, as I said, I only got the two from the um, oh, that set that they released earlier that year, where you got the duffel bag with the four uh, with the 2021 coins and the um, the sticker and all that. So I did make a video back then on that, and that's how I was able to get the 2021 one dollar coin because. Besides that, I've never found one in circulation and going by what people are telling me, I've done a, a, a poll as well on YouTube and it looks like no one's finding them. So the actual mintage could be this uh, or it look, it's looking like it's under the million. Um, so hopefully we do get an update. I'm sure someone will most likely reach out to the Royal Australian Mint and ask them about the 2021 $1 coin. Um, and yeah, if, if I find out anything um, from any of the Facebook groups that I'm in and yeah, I'll be sure to um, update the um, community on here and yeah, so I just thought I'll get this video out um, while this has just been released. As I said, I'll post the link in the description below. You can check it out in more detail. I just wanted to get through it pretty quick because I don't want to keep this here all day. And, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, are you actually buying the 2021 mint set or the coin or the $1 coin for the future? So, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the comments. I do try and reply to everyone. 
and yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.